Hey you guys, in today's video I'm going to try to break a myth that a lot of people hold about watercolor painting, which is it's not fixable. That is so not true. And today I'm going to tell you several ways you can fix a watercolor painting. Please subscribe and like this video and make sure you watch to the very end because the best tips are always at the end of my videos. Kind of like the monster at the end of this book, <laughs> but better. Okay, let's get started. Tip number one is use a spray bottle. And I use a high powered spray bottle and this actually really only works if your painting is wet. But I used this to great success with my painting of an Ireland landscape and I painted the background trees and I hated them. So I took this high powered spray bottle and sprayed the bejeebies out of them and it really worked quite well. But my watercolor had to still be wet. The paint still had to be a little moist. So what I would suggest is just get on Google and look for spray bottles that have a powerful jet spray. That really only works for bigger paintings and for paint that is still wet. It's probably the most least common way I fix watercolor paintings, but I have used it in the last year, so I thought I would include it in this video because it is an option if the conditions are just right. And this is another reason why you need to work with good watercolor paper because, of course, when you spray with that much water, your paper is going to get really wet and it's really going to take a beating. So only good professional watercolor paper made with cotton like what I always suggest using the Arches cold press 140 pound will work. It won't work for you to use cheap watercolor paper. That is true for a lot of these other tips. So let's move on to the next one. The second way you can erase in a watercolor painting is to use a magic eraser. Now this is a torn magic eraser because what I do is I tear off a little piece and then I erase with it. So you moisten it, you erase with it, you clean it off, and then um, you clean the paint out and then you erase more with it if you need to. So, But you do moisten it first. You may want to moisten your paper first and then moisten this as well and then scrub. It just depends on how much scrubbing you want to do, how delicate you want to do, but you can tear it to a pretty good little point. And uh, again, this is magic eraser. Make sure you get the kind that doesn't have any other cleaning agents added to it. And uh, you can find it in a grocery store, your local grocery store in the cleaning aisle. It's a cleaning product but I've used this quite a bit. I learned it originally from John Salmonen. Are you guys familiar with his work? He is so amazing, but I got that tip from John Salmonen years ago. So that was a great tip that I learned so long ago. Okay, another thing that I sometimes do if I have a little oopsie and I'm not able to erase it very well, sometimes I'll um, paint over it with white gouache. Um, this is Pelican Graphic White. It's a kind of like a gouache um, product. They don't make this anymore, but white gouache will work. Try Chinese white, and you can even mix a little bit of paint into your white gouache. White gouache, for those of you who may not know what gouache is, it's kind of like watercolor paint, but it's opaque, it's chalky. And just to warn you, do not get white gouache on your palette. It will get chalky whiteness everywhere and make a big, huge mess. So keep it separate from your palette and keep gouache separate from your watercolor paints. But um, you can use white gouache over a dried watercolor painting in small areas, maybe even large areas. But if you want to lighten an area, you can do it with gouache. A tip that I use sometimes is I'll take a rigger and get a lot of water in it. And if I'm using the uh, different papers, by the way, erase better than others. Uh, for example, my Arches Cold Press paper is pretty good at allowing me to erase. Like Yupo paper is uh, kind of like a plastic paper and it erases really well. Arches Cold Press paper erases pretty well. But one of the things you can do is you can take like, say you want a long thin line, kind of like a whisker and uh, you want to erase the color and create a whisker or a fence post or something like that. So you can take um, a brush with um, a good little point and 
get it really wet and draw over or paint over the area with clear water and blot. Paint over with clear water and blot. Paint over with clear water and blot. And you can continue to lift the watercolor off your paper and it will lighten it at least. It won't lighten it as much though as a scrubber, but I'm gonna talk about that last. Um, another thing that you can use, I have not tried this, but if you have a huge mistake and you really need to save a watercolor painting for whatever reason you don't want to start over, you can get a product by Daniel Smith called Watercolor Ground. I've never used it, but I've heard it works wonders. You paint the watercolor ground on like white paint. Follow the instructions that comes with the product and you paint over whatever oops you have and let it dry and then you can apparently paint back over on that as if it was watercolor paper. It's back to the perfect white and you can move on with fixing your painting. So that's another thing that you can try to fix a watercolor oops uh oh as me and my four year old call it. <laughs> Are you guys ready for my favorite fix that I use almost all the time? I use this technique to soften edges in almost every single painting I do. And that is, I use scrubbers. So what is a scrubber? It is a watercolor brush. You can get stiff scrubbers or you can get soft scrubbers. And you can get a few different sizes. This one is an oil painting brush. This is what I used before I discovered there were actual watercolor scrubbers. But this is an uh, oil painting brush that has a, a short bristles that are somewhat stiff. And you can get hog's hair bristled oil painting brushes that are very stiff and you have to be very careful not to ruin your paper. Now I will tell you this, if you're using cheap paper, you will not be able to scrub uh, very much at all. And some papers, like I have one kind of um, paper that it's a good paper, but it just, it, it pills up and it ruins the paper if you use a stiff scrubber. But the beautiful thing about it is it takes a very light touch and I can just scrub with um, an acrylic brush that is just a medium stiffness. It's very soft basically. But on my Arches Cold Press paper, which I think is the best paper I've found for my scrubbing technique for lifting color, uh, these scrubbers um, work great on Arches Cold Press. Uh, and probably other good quality cold press papers too. And they're made by, um, the actual watercolor scrubbers are made by Royal and Lang Nickel. And this is a size two, and let's see, this is a size eight. And I use my size two almost, I hardly ever use this. I usually use it to um, soften the edges around the inside of eyes, little, little details to make my edges really soft. But if I make a mistake, I can also use it to scrub out and create soft, lighter passages. By pushing this down, I think I got this, this dark line. I think it needs to go down here. Look how romantic that looks with that smudged edge though. Those are my favorite ways to fix watercolor paintings. And I would love to hear if I left anything out. Do you guys have any tips or hacks that you use to fix your watercolor paintings? Cause there's lots of ways to do it. And I'm probably forgetting some of them too, but, and be sure to subscribe. I upload a new video every week. If you want to learn from me more in depth, go check out my Patreon and I will see you guys next week. Okay, thanks so much, guys.